What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to operate the PlayStation 2 games using the send in guns. Now I already made a video going over every single game using the aim track guns and most games are the same so I'm only going to go over a few things that are different with the send in guns in this video. First thing you want to do is go over to the toolkit and select exit to windows. And over here on the desktop, you have the Arcade One Send In Installer. You want to go ahead and run that and read what it says here. If you haven't done the initial setup where you set up the guns in Windows and the Send In software, you want to click on Watch Video and follow those instructions, then come back to this installer. The installer itself is going to guide you all along with instructions and videos, so I'm not going to go over that here. And I'm going to go ahead and click Cancel. Let's go ahead and get into the games. I'm going to start up Hyperspin once again. Skip the intro and go down to the gun games send in wheel. This first wheel is for aim track and this one here is for send in. So the game I want to show you now is Dino Stalker. This one has more functionality with the send ins than with the aim tracks. So we're going to go ahead and start that up. And what you're going to notice is that every game has a calibration screen when you first start it up. And most of them are similar. Some have you press the A button to continue. Some have you press the start button to continue. This one here will have you press the start button after you do the calibration. And as usual, the start button while pointing at the screen is the right front button. The A button would be the left front button. So I'm going to go ahead and calibrate. And as you can see on the bottom, it says press A or B to readjust or start to exit. If you wanted to do the calibration again, you would press the left front button because that is A. But me, I'm good, so I'm going to press the right front button. Now, this game has a long intro and to save time and to get right into the action, I've created a save state. So I'm going to go ahead and activate that. Okay, cool. So this game has a lot of actions that you can do. So basically it's free roaming. So you're going to use the D-pad on the gun to move around. And then to strife left or right, you can use the rear left button or the rear right button on the gun. And that would strife left and will strife right. Now you also have a sniper shot. And for that to make it easy, I made it so that if you hold down the two buttons on the left of the gun, these two buttons here, uh, you have your index finger free to use the D-pad so that you can look around. Okay, so that's how you would do that. Now to reload, you can use the pump, but now the pump is not really a reload in this game. Um, I'm not going to go into detail as to why, but you can't shoot off screen. This is the only game you can't shoot off screen to reload. So by using the pump, you can trick it because the pump switches between special weapon and single shot. And a side effect of that, let me spend some bullets here, is if you switch back and forth real quick like that, it reloads your, your bullets. Now the downside to that is that if you run out of your special weapon ammunition, that trick isn't going to work. So instead, what you can do is hold... Uh, or just quickly press the left rear button over here and the rear right button over here. You, you uh, press them together like this and that has the effect of a reload. So let me spend some bullets here. Now if you do that quickly, it'll reload for you. You can also use the Xbox 360 controller to move around. So if I pick that up now, here it is using the D-pad can go ahead and move around and using the left trigger you can do that same trick with the special weapon now remember if you're if you are using the xbox controller to move around which is cool because it's a lot more comfortable but you then run out of special weapon bullets then you're not going to be able to reload reload using that left trigger so just keep that in mind 
All right, that is just one game that is very different on the aim track than the Sindon. So let's go ahead and exit. And then the other thing I want to show you is for Virtual Cop. And I'm ju I just want to show you what the calibration is like for that game. Okay, so let's go over to V and start up Virtual Cop. Now, most games are pretty straightforward, like you just saw in Dino Stalker. You just shoot at the screen and press A or Start to continue. This one is a bit trickier. Okay, so first thing you have to do is you have to press Start. So as usual, the right front button pointed at the screen is your Start. So you go ahead and do that. Then you actually go ahead and shoot at the crosshairs. And then when you're ready, you shoot off screen and then you shoot at OK. Cool, now you do that for player two. You press start on player two. You shoot at the crosshairs. You shoot off screen, shoot at OK. And now you shoot off screen again. And it asks if you're finished and you shoot at yes. So pretty tricky to get that done, but once you get used to it, it's pretty straightforward. Now, obviously, if you only had one gun, after you were done with the first gun, you would shoot off screen, and then it would ask you if you're done, and you would say yes. This is if you had two guns, you have to do the, the whole thing twice. Let's just go ahead and start up a game here real quick. So start button, again, the right front button. And on this one, you can use your D-pad to make the different selections in the menu. Then you shoot at the screen when you're done. Let's try Virtual Cop 2. So I'm going to go down and press the Start button on the right of the gun. Okay, let's try player two. So you would point player two at the screen and press that right front button to start. Oops, I just paused the game, give me a second. There you go, now let's try it. There you go. Cool, so as usual, to exit the game, you point it away from the screen and you press the right front button. You hold it down for three seconds. And that is basically it, guys. Every other game, just watch the aim track video because it's pretty much the same. Um, and just as an example, let's go ahead and try, uh, let's try another game here so you can see the calibration real quick. So like, let's say Time Crisis 3. And it asks for player one, so you go ahead and calibrate that. And then it says press A or B button to end. So again, that, that is going to be the left front button. If it says A or B, it's the left front button. If it says start, that's the right front button. So press the right left button. Uh, the, the left front button is what I meant to say. And now it asks for player two. Go ahead and calibrate it. Same thing, left front button and then you're in the game. Let's go ahead and skip this. Select arcade, two player, and stage one. Now all of these games, like all the Time Crisis games are pretty much the same. You know, you have your pedal and then 
you know, you, you just you just shoot. This one you can select different weapons. And to do that, if you're not pressing the pedal down and, you're sh and you shoot at the screen, you can see there that, that it switches between different weapons. And then you actually press on the pedal, which is your left front button, when you actually want to go ahead and play. Now here's your player two, same thing. If you just shoot at the screen, when he's ducking, you're changing weapons, then you squeeze the trigger when you actually want to shoot. Okay, let's go ahead and exit this game. All right, and I just started Gunfighter 2 here just because the calibration on this one doesn't really show you a clear indication that you're on player 1 or 2. So just so you guys know that, I'm going to show you real quick. So here's uh, the calibration. It comes up like this. You go ahead and do it. And I'm good, so I'm going to press the A button on the left front of the gun. And then it doesn't really show you that anything happened, right? But really, it wants you to calibrate the second gun now. So here's my second gun. Squeeze the trigger. There we go. Again, left front button. And we are good to go. So then you go ahead and select story. Select this left selection right there and shoot at number two for two players. This game is a single screen game. So unlike Time Crisis, you don't have two separate pedals. Player one controls the pedal and then player two simply shoots. So again, left front button to act, to act as a pedal. You can see that over there, my, the, the, the bullets to the right are being used. And now if I pick up my second gun, again, I'm gonna use that button on, on uh, gun one to act as the pedal. But here's my second player, and you can see that the bullets to the left are being used. And that is going to be it, guys. This is the gist of how all these games work. And if you want more details for other games, definitely check out the Aim Track video. And that's going to be it for this one. Hope you guys learned something and that this helps you out. And I'll see you guys on the next one.